Yo, what's up squad, back again with another banger. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button slash notification bell to join the Saw Squad and start receiving weekly bangers. No more talking, roll the clip. Don't, don't, don't spray it too much. I think Tasha left this mess in this place on purpose. Nah, Lita, I think that's just how Eric was living. I mean, look at your man. Homie looks sloppy. Let's just say it how it is. For now, we have to make the best of this place, which we have to share with my daughter, Tasha. Tasha's gonna be home from work soon. Jesus I at least Christ. need Lita to be civil. Sir, where the fuck is your birth certificate? You age like a banana. You look older every episode. If the Fountain of Youth exists, I think you drank from the wrong one, buddy. Hehe, <laughs> well god darn it, I finally found ya! The secret of the universe. I will now sip this sauce to achieve immortality. <laughs> She is the reason why the place is such a big pile of mess. She's done. I don't want to meet her. Bruh. I want her to move out. I don't want her to live with us. Can't put her on the street. You have to. Eric, stand up for your daughter. The coochie don't even look that good. I mean, imagine some random woman walking into your house telling you to move out. How are you going to kick someone's daughter out when you were just living with your parents like two weeks ago? I love them both, and, and it's just, it's important for me, for this family to work. Ooh, it's nice in here. Is exactly what I would have said if I was living like a slob and someone finally cleaned up. Subtle hints. No, I mean, like, I was very upset. I didn't expect that the, the place is gonna be such a mess. Did you do that on purpose to make me, like, explode or no. what? So, are you feel bad about it or not? I don't understand why Lita feels so entitled to this place. I mean, you just got here. Am I gonna feel bad that you decide to move in and you hate how the place is? Let me answer that one for you. Fuck no. My feelings are difficult to describe. Like, yes. It's not that hard. You either do feel bad for what happened or you don't. Bruh. Congratulations, Eric. You just earned yourself the worst father of the year award. Oh, bruisey banana looking ass. Well, I want her to move out right now, like, like today. As far as I know, you're not yet on the lease. You can't to kick me out. You guys can want whatever the heck you want, but at the same time, I'm on the lease too. So gotcha, maybe you guys need to move out. No. Check me out. I'm checking. Get it. I told you I moved out. Here's the address. <laughs> Psych! That's the wrong address. <laughs> What if I take you around to some of these these little budget motels that do the monthly and the weekly rates? Bruh. You know, Alice is, we got the mattress set up in our room for him, but we need the room for him. Eric's logic is just flawless. When the going gets tough, kick your daughter to the curb and take care of another man's kid. For the most part, I have not been counting on you for the cable, the electric, or the groceries. That's darn right, Tasha, this dirty ass mattress chair on credit, that's all me. This water bottle that I'm paying monthly for, who pay? All me. You ain't done shit around here. You've been taking all over the bills? Yes. Listen, I, it's not that simple. I can't just up and move out. I'm done talking about this for now. Heh, <laughs> I showed her who's boss. I will be in my room. Is she still paying the rent, like 50-50? As of last month, she paid it. This month, she has not, because I did not ask for it. You know what? We are gonna be a husband and a wife. You have but to I tell keep, me everything. Keep... No, 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 you have to tell me everything. It's period. Bro. Don't curse. That's not nice. Eric, along with that birth certificate, I'm gonna need you to go get a physical because where the fuck are your balls? Are you that desperate to let a woman kick your daughter to the curb so you could take care of her and her child and let her walk all over you like a doormat? Hell, I think I'll rename my doormat after you, Eric. Hi, I'm Matt. Shut up, Eric. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We have problems here, but we got a plan for the wedding because we only have two months. And if I don't get married by then, I'll have to go home. Honestly, that might be the best case scenario. She doesn't seem to love Eric, and it's not like Eric is sugar daddy material. On the flip side, Eric might just go for broke trying to juggle Lita and her son. I don't know. I'm really nervous about the whole venue because I don't. I know, I mean, like, it's not gonna be extra fagans like my previous wedding before. What is with Lita and flexing about her life? Like that's a slap to Eric's manhood. It's pretty much her way of saying, Eric, my life was way better back in Indonesia. I was balling out of control. So whatever wedding plans you got me, not on my level. Do with me, Alessandro. <laughs> Dab on them, eat. Stop waiting. 
$300,000. Really, Lita? What are you guys eating? Dinosaur eggs and gold-plated crab legs? Show me the receipt when you send an Eric's birth certificate. Or miss me with that bullsh**. But for my wedding, this time, Eric will pay for it. Because he wants to prove to my family that he'd have enough money. Eric, what is there to prove? The proof is in the pudding. This chair speaks for itself. I'm broke. Here we are. All right. If you're soon to be wife, don't even want to hold your hand into the wedding venue that you paid for. You got the wrong one, buddy. Just saying. So, so I guess right, so this is it here. So we've got the ballroom all set here for you as far as um, this far side over here where the ceremony will be. Now in this section, this will be where the dance floor is. We've got your cake table going over on this side. And then the appetizers will be right okay. in between. That works. You could have shown this man a cattle barn, he probably still would have said, That works. On a real note though, this place looks more like a funeral service for the grandmas than a wedding reception. Just being honest. Well, there's 25 people coming to our wedding. So, it's quite bland. We can also bring stuff of our own, buy it, party central. If it was just 25 peeps, Eric could have just rented out a nice dinner and call it a day. So anyways, they decide to go along with the venue despite Lita not really buying into it. But in return, she wants a great florist. And I don't think she understands that flowers can exceed the venue cost real quick. Wrote a clip. So we're here today to meet Tiffany, the florist. The venue's the canvas. Yes. Tiffany's the it artist. It needs to be filled. For Lita's first wedding, what she spent on the flowers alone are way more than what, what I intend to spend on this wedding at all. Just to give you a comparison, cost-wise, that one centerpiece I saw from your Indonesian wedding is your whole budget. So Lita quickly finds out that Eric does not have the funds to afford her the flowers that she wants for her wedding. She has been so spoiled by her parents that she's coming to the realization of having to deal with normal people's shit called a budget. All right. I, that one's actually kind of cool. Almost a $7,000 bed set. Bruh. Eric, why the fuck are you at a furniture store where beds are more than the budget of your wedding? There's a thing called, say it with me, buddy, say it with me, Ikea. I can't wait to have it we do the for your shopping right now. Because I didn't know how much this place cost. Bruh. Wow. What? There are things that you just need to accept. It's, it's, that's reality. Really, I don't like that. I'm out of here. If the man can't even afford flowers for your wedding, what makes you think he's gonna drop seven racks for your bed? Girl, you ain't gonna find nobody on this planet that will buy you a 7K bed set, let alone Eric. I would have dropped her ass back at the airport and said later Gata for even assuming I would buy her a 7K bed set. You tripping. But if you were Gigi Hadid though, <laughs> no, I mean, there's levels to this and you ain't at that level. The heck was that all about? I wanna get it what I want right now. And you can't make that happen. Girl, you ain't doing jack to help the man. If you want a 7K bed set, go call daddy and have him ship it to you. Boom. Tell him, sauce. Tell him. We will get you what you want, but it takes time. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You, you're a child support. Eric has been sending money every month to the child support. Yeah, it's called the fucking law. Who are you to tell a man not to take care of his kids? She's just mad her man ain't doing it. Heh <laughs> heh, got away with another one, chief. That's right, Eric. Take care of my child. Subtle hints. I personally don't like it because there's nothing left for Alessandro. Hold up, forgive me if I'm wrong, but Alessandro did not come from this man's nuts. So your precious boy should be last on his list. Deservingly so. I'm sorry the truth hurts. You're bitching about the financial situation. I don't like the way that I live right now. I don't like it. I will not gonna accept your child support. That's how we do it in America. Yeah, and I don't want to. I don't want to follow it because it's not necessary in Indonesia. Okay, okay. If it's not necessary in Indonesia to have child support, then why are you asking this man to support your child? Boom. Got him, chief. And I'm sorry if you don't like it. There's always the phrase, go home. Boom. Got him again, chief. Why are you living in a burner, you know? You need to get rid of that selfish. Jesus Indonesian culture background. Eh, wrong. I don't think it's the Indonesian culture to be selfish and spoiled. It's just her, Eric. You have a 90 day return policy. It's not too late to say later, Gator. Then, then I don't want to get married then. Gotcha, bitch. Because of child support. Let's just end this.
Final thoughts? These two have zero chemistry. She wouldn't even flinch to hold his granny hands. My assumption is that our buddy Eric here made some promises to Lita that he can't cash. Literally. Hate to say it Eric, but ain't no coochie worth all that trouble. You already look 55, she's gonna make you look 70 by your next birthday. On the flip side, you are with the wrong guy Lita. Like I said, she's been living under her parents comfort for too long. And now she's finally realizing that money don't grow on trees. It's gonna be very difficult for her to accept this lifestyle. You're basically telling a smoker to stop smoking overnight. One, it's not gonna happen. And two, it's gonna cause a lot of withdrawals. My advice for you Lita, is to pack your bags and go home. You can find a sugar daddy online that looks as old as Eric, but has the funds to support you. And as for Eric, there's always the internet buddy, because lord knows you can't pay to play. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping so- <laughs>